Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. And today we are going to prune our hydrangeas. We're also gonna fertilize them. So when you're looking at your hydrangeas, we're gonna deadhead all of this stuff off the top. Taking that off allows for new wood and new growth to appear easier than if the plant was trying to basically grow around old dead stuff. So how to know you are ready to prune your hydrangeas. We do have some growth going on here. Our hostas have popped, our tulips have popped. Everything's popped, but the actual hydrangea itself, you're gonna look onto it and you're gonna see, let me just focus my camera here. There is new growth, like the buds are starting to swell. You see a little bit of green, those buds are swelling. That means that you're pretty much good to go ahead and prune. So you're just gonna take your pruning shears, you're gonna come in to your hydrangea plant and you're gonna prune about a third way down. So um, let me just find a good spot to show you here. Okay, so we're gonna do this branch here. So we've got the head here. We're gonna go all the way about, so there's the bottom here as you can see. You only wanna cut off about a third of the plant. You could go right, right down in earlier spring and give it that chance to bud, but since we're already almost at May, we don't wanna to go too far down or it's not gonna get that chance to bud back up or to grow back up. So come in here, about a third way of the plant. Snip off and that's it. If you don't even wanna go that far down, you don't have to. The other thing you wanna get rid of is Anything spindly. So this right here, like look how tiny this little branch is. Sorry, let me focus my camera in here. This is a spindly, nothing little branch. Your plant is going to take way too much energy trying to get this going. We want to deadhead that off. Just get rid of it completely. So I'm going to prune up this bush and then I will show you when I'm done, what it looks like so you kind of have an idea of what it should look like when you're finished. So here it is finished here. As you can see, I didn't take any more than a third way down of the plant. I personally on this one kept a little bit of height just because that's the way I want it is a little bit taller. Now I'm gonna go in, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go in with some flower fertilizer. They have like hydrangea fertilizer. I'm just using some of the stuff that I have left over from previous seasons just to use it up. And maybe midway through the season I might fertilize again with some new hydrangea stuff because I'm almost done with this. But So that's it. Pretty easy. Um, don't be scared. A lot of people are scared to do it. Just go in as long as you're following your plant taking off some of that spindly stuff and yeah when as we go through our garden tours I'll show you what it looks like in the spring. If you actually go back and look at some of our front garden tours from the past you can see what they look like and that they do come back they're pretty resilient plants so anyways we'll talk to you soon bye